Hello everyone and welcome to a quick little review of The Descent. Now, I apologize for this very gorilla way of recording this video, but I'm not sure how I'm going to record this. I need a camera stand or a phone camera stand because I'm recording this with my phone, but I still hope you guys enjoy this nonetheless. It's hard to record. I'm using a box to stand this DVD up, but I'm not sure I'm going to record my videos yet. This is my first video review on this channel, so not sure yet, but if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments, but today I'm talking about The Descent. This movie is fucking insane. This is probably one of the scariest movies I have ever seen. It made my mom sick to her stomach. Me and my mom watched it together. This movie is insane. It made me sick too, especially where, okay, now, spoiler alert here, this review is gonna have spoilers in it. This movie is over a decade old, oh, over a decade old. Sorry if I'm stumbling my words a little. <laughs> kind of nervous, but this movie is around 12 years old, so spoiler alert, but especially where, I think her name is Becca, I believe that's her name, gets drugged through the cave and her fingernails break. That made me cringe so much because the fingernails breaking is so real and so gruesome. It's disgusting. And this movie is just so sad. I mean, the part where Beth dies, she was probably one of my favorite character in the movie. The part where Juno kills Beth, that part is so sad. It's, it's just, this movie is a tragedy. It's just, now... I don't count the sequel, The Descent Part 2, as part of the story, so in my mind, everyone in this movie dies, so that's how tragic it is, because it's almost like, I can't explain it to any other movie, it's every single main character dies, like, Reservoir Dogs did that, but I can't think of any other movie that's done that, it's just so tragic, and... It's sad. I mean, when the end credits roll and there's that picture of all the girls, you're like, what did I just watch? You know, it's so sad. And I'm trying to think of some parts that I liked. I liked the part where they're crawling through the really small, tight caves, the tight pockets, you know. That made my mom sick, and that made me sick, too, to be honest. It's so nasty. Just so gross. <sighs> I can't believe that they were able to draw such feelings like that out of me because I'm usually not that scared of movies. I'm a big horror fan and this movie right here is easily my favorite horror movie of the past, you know, of the 2000s. It's probably the most well-made horror movie of the 2000s in terms of how it drew feelings out of me because it just... I can't find words for how to explain it. It just made me sick. The t I've watched this movie like seven times. And the first time I, I watched it, the night after I watched it, it made me sweat. It gave me nightmares. And I was sweating. The morning after, I was like sweating. And I was sweat stains. I like fucking stunk real bad. I don't usually I'm, keep like I take care of myself. So I don't usually stink like sweat. But I was sweating, you know. It was just, I just wanted to take a shower because I was just so nervous and sweating because this movie was like stuck in my head. It stuck with me. It is just so great. And I just keep wanting to watch it because you can watch this movie a lot of times because there's so many, so much little things that you pick up on and there's little Easter eggs and little clues that you can watch and pick up on. So I also highly recommend getting the original uncut edition because it has the original British ending, which is the best ending. The ending where she wakes up in the cave and, you know, she suggested that she dies. But this ending also has a really cool documentary that I watched. And it has all, behind the scenes are all the cool special effects, you know. None of it really was done with a computer. It was all done and you can see it. It's in front of your, like, face. So you know that it's happening. It's just so cool. The documentary is so cool. And, like, it shows all the fun that the girls were having. Like, you know that they had a ton of fun making this movie. This movie is just a blast watching. I highly recommend it. Like, 
I would give this movie 10 stars. I would give this movie 100 stars. It's easily my favorite movie. Horror movie. My favorite. I would... I would say my favorite movie of the 2000s. Honestly, I'm going... A lot of people are going to think I'm crazy, but... It's my favorite movie of the 2000s. I'm going to say... It. It's just drew so many feelings out of me. Just emotions. It's crazy. I highly suggest watching this. The original uncut. Get this DVD right here. This one. Get this one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, like... It was kind of a review... I'd say it was a review. <laughs> um, it was a little unorganized, but I still hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be newer videos coming out, more videos, and they will be more well-made. They will be better. Uh, kind of new at this, and I'll get better at this. Um, I think that my videos are enjoyable, but if you leave a like, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye.